Hello, welcome to another short clip. Do you find that your child is possibly battling to remember information at school or retain certain information? Especially when they're studying, when they're having to learn technical or theory types of activities or subjects. Most children think with their right brain and their creative brain. And a very good technique to use is to actually use drawing or pictures with their studying. Attach their words or their theory to certain pictures. So for example, if you took a huge piece of paper and you learnt about a sole trader as an example, what you could do is you could in the middle of the piece of paper draw a little stick man with just a little tent around him. There he could have a box in front of him selling apples and pears. Just by seeing that image, you could obviously write the word sole trader because you know that there is one person who owns this business. You could then write other information around it, what is related to be, being a sole trader. Just by looking at that image, you already know that a sole trader is one person who conducts their business. A partnership, I could have two people in there. And I could write a whole lot of information around that. Studying with pictures really helps you to actually imprint that into the back of your brain. If obviously you have subject matters that are quite involved and in detail, that doesn't matter. You can create pictures around that. I've helped many people study and actually be able to create lots of information and retain that information so that they never forget that. As an example, there was one person who was needing to study to remember everything to do with the body and what medication goes with which part of the muscles, how it helps, what does it do for the body, how does it harm the body. And I made them draw a huge picture just of the actual body. When they had drawn the picture of the body, we put in all the organs. With that, we started color coding it and we started writing little notes there. So for instance, if, the, if it was about the heart needing certain types of medication, we drew little blue pills or red pills or green pills or whatever that we needed to do in order for her to remember. Why we use pictures when we study is because when you look at something, you remember it. When you look at somebody's face, you remember them, you remember their features. Writing next to it as well is very important because then you start actually putting that memory into the back of your brain. I hope this has helped you a bit. Obviously, each and every person is completely different and everyone studies a different way. But pictures is a great way which I use to actually get through my schooling and I've passed flying colours, especially with certain subjects that I use this with. If you need any help, you're more than welcome to get in contact with us and I can help you put together your studying program for specific theories or even teach you how to use what I've been using my whole childhood. Look forward to seeing you. If you want, you can obviously contact us through info at changewithart.com.